So in this video we're going to look at implementing our descending sort order in the function which we have already written for option C. Um, so let's uh, come back here and try and put some of these um, uh, experiments into our um, function over here. So now that we know that the leaderboard contains a list then one of the things that we can do is we don't need to return this because this function will just be doing all of the printing. We would use return if we were going to write a different function which uh, dealt with the printing of the um, output from this, uh, but we can write the whole thing in this one function, although um, I would always prefer to write it elsewhere, but let's uh, let's do it this way for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the sort function um, exactly as we've done here um, on our leaderboard list because that's being created. So now we can have a look at the two functions that are available. There's the sort function in the documentation that's provided and also the sorted function. So what it says about um, the sort function is we use it by uh, using the dot notation, so we just call it using dot sort, and this modifies the list in place. Um, so uh, what that means is um, if we've got, uh, if we don't need our leaderboard list which is unsorted and then a different list which is sorted, then we can just run the sort function on this. And the way we do that is we're just going to call our leaderboard list or write uh, the, the name of our variable and then just say dot sort and then again use reverse reverse uh, reverse equals true here um, and what this will do is uh, it's a bit like the append uh, method where it acts on this list um, automatically and this sorts this list so we don't have to assign it to a different variable. If we'd used a uh, sorted we would have to uh, say leaderboard equals sorted leaderboard and then it would overwrite this list. But this works in place so let's just remind ourselves of what this is going to do. Um, so this will uh, sorts list in descending order. And so this is descending order of the first element and remember the list that we have created we have put those elements right at the beginning and because we've got this if it only picks out uh, those um, people who have won at least one game. So once we've done that um, and we've got uh, a sorted list we can now um, use a for loop to do our printing. So we can just say for temp in leaderboard and then this is just for printing purposes so we can label all of these so we could say um, score comma um, that's the nickname of the person that followed by the number of games that they've won uh, sorry followed by the number of games that they've played then followed by wins and um, how many they've lost. So we can assign all of that to temp. And then it makes it easier for us to reorder these in our printing. So we could, if you wanted to miss out this line, then you can do. And then our printing um, will, you will then have to individually print those out. So I can now print by just saying, um, Something like, well, always display the nickname and then display the number of games that they've played and then won and then lost and then print out the score in that order. Um, otherwise, you would have to l leave out this line and then print temp um, 1, temp 2, temp 3, temp 4 and temp 0. So that's how you would um, write this particular line. So that's going to deal with all of our printing. So let's um, save this and run it and see what it uh, what result it gives us. So let's call option C in our shell over here. And 
There indeed it is displaying it as a leaderboard with the highest points at the top. So um, we need to format this uh, a little better, uh, exactly like we have to format some of the other things a little bit better. But that's got the main requirements completed. So before we do the formatting of this, um, I'm just going to talk about how to write the menu um, because then we can come back and deal with um, how to make sure that the user only types in the correct um, fixture number for option A. So let's uh, do the menu in the next video.